Wizaboy presents I will tell you what the moon mining is on the agenda in this video. Privatization, in space, Trump issues deal for, moon mining things being what they are, US President Donald Trump drafted a universal understanding for, mining on the moon to yield. Association and Trump organizations draft understanding called Artemis Agreements in space programs that is expressed that he will haggle with the nations he is in. Indeed, even the negotiation plan is ready for this activity known to be against Russia in the coming weeks in the USA space programs Canada, Japan and European nations. Just as the United Arab Emirates exchanges are arranged with as per Reuters sources, motivated by the U.S. National Aviation and Space Administration NASA, Artemis program the agreement, which takes this name from rival nations or organizations around the future bases the U.S. will build up on the moon. It is visualized to set up safe zones so as to forestall conceivable harm. The understanding likewise specifies that organizations will have the assets to mine cases to give a legitimate system. The USA is one of the nations that consented to the outer space arrangement marked in 1967. Under this understanding the divine bodies and the moon are not accessible for occupation or some other methods for supposed power, the report says. Be that as it may, the Artemis agreements, which the Trump government is getting ready to formalize, negate this. Russia responded to Trump's announcement a month ago, the privatization of room is unsatisfactory. It appeared. Moon Mining Company, the U.S. organization Moon Express means to dispatch moon mining very soon. The space organization, which intends to land its first rocket on the moon before the finish of 2017, will begin mining 16 quadrillion dollar mines on the moon by 2020 if everything works out in a good way. Moon Express, whose establishments were made by 26 diverse Silicon Valley business people and designers in 2010, is really attempting to win an opposition called Lunar X Prize composed by Google. Lunar X Prize reported by Google in 2007 to expand private interests in space look into, is a universal rivalry that organizations from everywhere throughout the world can take an interest. As indicated by the guidelines set by Google, the main organization that figured out how to land the shuttle on the moon in only 10 years, until the finish of 2017, will get a $20 million prize. This organization will likewise need to move the shuttle 500 meters over the surface and send high goals photographs and recordings to Earth, saying that they are putting forth a valiant effort to win the Lunar X Prize Challenge. Moon Express CEO Bob Richards is as yet gazing at the huge price of $16 quadrillion. I trust that we will be in a situation to win the prize, however as indicated by our business point of view, this opposition isn't a commitment, it never occurred. We will send our shuttle to the moon as quickly as time permits. Utilizes articulations, albeit Lunar X Prize rivalry began with 34 distinct groups previously. There are just four organizations that can keep on contending starting at 2017. Cooperative Energy Moon, comprising of Hakuto from Japan, Team Indus from India, Moon Express from the USA and a worldwide group, is at present in a savage battle to turn into the principal privately owned business to arrive on the moon. Pursuit of a $16 quadrillion mine at $16 quadrillion dollars Moon Express, which has been pursuing moon mining since its establishment, shared its detailed plans on how to start this business on the company website this week. As we mentioned before, Moon Express plans its first moon landing in the last months of 2017. 
preparing a very light robotic spacecraft powered by hydrogen peroxide named MX-1E for this task. With the MX-1 spacecraft which the company describes as the iPhone of space, the company wants to explore incredibly precious minerals and waters, such as helium-3 on the moon. You may be interested in NASA will visit the sky for 10 centillion dollars for the first time after the Moon Express MX-1E. It will begin the development process of the multifunction spacecraft named MX-2, MX-5 and MX-9. All these spacecraft will be powered by the engine called PICO which Moon Express describes as environmentally friendly and will be able to carry loads of different sizes to the Moon. The smallest of Moon Express's spacecraft team. The MX-1E can also be launched into space after landing on the Moon with mines collected from the surface. Minimizing costs aiming to achieve the maximum profit with minimum investment from moon mining, Moon Express seeks to reduce costs in everything from the construction of spacecraft to launch. Naveen Jain, one of the three founders of Moon Express, says that with the development of technology, space travel can now be made much cheaper. Jane states that the tasks that NASA previously realized by spending billions of dollars can now be accomplished at less than $10 million. The company's biggest strategic move on cost was to negotiate with a New Zealand rocket company Rocket Lab. Rocket Labs, which developed Electron, the world's first rocket powered by lithium polymer batteries to minimize the high launch costs in space exploration developed a brand new propulsion system and reduced the launch fee to $4.9 million. This price set by Rocket Lab is 22 times cheaper than SpaceX's launch costs. Founded in 2006, Rocket Lab is actually a very young company for the space industry. The New Zealand company, which has just completed the development of the Electron rocket in the past months, carried out the first test of the rocket on May 25. Although the company has left the launch in a significant sense, it is certain that they have not yet reached the level to send a spacecraft to the moon. Speaking about the Rocket Lab's Electron rocket, Bob Richards reminded that the development of the MX-1E spacecraft has not been completed yet. We need to do a lot of work within a very short time frame so that we can land on the moon by the end of 2017. Lab needs to do a lot of work in a short time, of course. Even the slightest mistake can cost a lot when it comes to these formidable space missions. Therefore, Moon Express and Rocket Lab Duo, who do not have much experience in this sector yet, have a long way to go before them. Let's see if Moon Express will start moon mining by 2020 as it intended. Thank you for watching our video ended here, please share and subscribe for more videos to come.